So the Stations of the Cross is an experimental video game installation. It's a series of three stations, each of which is an abstract, contemplative art game that can be encountered in the space of a couple of minutes or a longer time frame, depending on the pace and inclination of the player. Historically, the Stations of the Cross refers to a series of 14 images depicting Jesus on the way to crucifixion. There are kind of these little moments along the way, Jesus being forsaken by his followers, Jesus being condemned to die, Jesus being beaten, uh, and so on till his death on the cross. And these images are typically intended to serve as ritual objects designed for contemplation, spiritual reflection, aesthetic encounter. Uh, so the stations have this rich history extending way back into Christian religious tradition and traditions surrounding pilgrimage and contemplation and ritual practice. Um, but they also have a rich history within the arts, uh, stretching right up into abstract expressionist and contemporary art practice as exemplified by artists like Barnett Newman. Um, within this context, the stations have often been viewed as universal meditations on suffering that don't require a particular religious background to appreciate. This is the perspective that led Barnett Newman, uh, who was actually a secular Jew, to create his Stations of the Cross series of abstract expressionist paintings. And it's this perspective that informs my triptych, uh, which loosely pays homage to Newman's work. I've been creating experimental games for some time, and most of my work is available to play online or download. These Stations of the Cross games are a bit different in that I don't plan to make them available online. The reason for that is that historically the stations have been tied up with these embodied experiences of contemplation and pilgrimage. And I feel like it's important to recreate that kind of experience in some way with this installation. I require that people physically come to a specific location to experience it and require that they physically move from one game to the next in the sequence and that they interact with a particular physical environment. The central motivation that led me to create these games was encountering Barnett Newman's paintings, uh, which just sort of captivated me and then learning more about this tradition they were placed within, which I found to be very rich and complex. At the same time, I discovered that the Stations of the Cross have received very little attention from new media artists. Um, as far as I know, there, no one has actually created any kind of interactive media work that explicitly positions itself as a station series, even though we have thousands of Stations of the Cross paintings and dioramas going back hundreds of years. I knew I wanted to do something in this space, and the more I considered it, the more I came to believe that video games are actually kind of perfectly suited to engage with this tradition. Because the Stations of the Cross have always been about active participation, about walking from one station to the next, reflecting, reciting prayers, etc. But it's easy to forget that fact, uh, right? To walk by images in a cathedral or an art gallery without realizing what they are, without truly engaging with them. So this interactive triptych is my attempt to be part of this complex tradition while reimagining the stations in terms of play-based experiences which don't just request but actually demand participation from the viewer.